Hello, glad to join you again. Thanks for taking the time. It means a lot to me. You know, there's a very short verse, and it's found in Luke chapter 17 and verse 32, and it says this, remember Lot's wife. <laughs> if you remember Lot and his wife were escaping from Sodom and Gomorrah when judgment was being poured out, and there was a moment at which Lot's wife just looked back, and a judgment came upon her, and she turned into a pillar of salt. It's kind of an, a, an amazing visual there, isn't it? But it's referring to the fact that sometimes, well, all the time, we as believers should be careful about looking back. That context of that passage in Luke chapter 17 is really written around the idea that Jesus is coming back and that we have to be looking forward when he comes back. Don't be holding on to anything in this world that would attract us, but to just say, I keep looking forward. In this life, it's my goal to always try to look forward. When I look back, what am I doing? Well, sometimes I'm looking at back regrets. And you know, we don't have the luxury, can I put it that way, of living in guilt and regret and in fear. Because the, the blood of Jesus Christ was shed to set us free from regret and from wallowing in the past. That's a luxury I don't want. And the Lord says to us, if you, if you want to move forward, you can't look back. It also says in, in Luke chapter 9 that no man who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. Putting your hand to the plow reminds us of the fact that Jesus said that following him is like being yoked to him, hooking up our plow to him. And the Lord says, once you hook your plow up, don't look back. Don't look, at back, look back at, at past regrets, past failures. And certainly don't look at what you left behind thinking, oh, I gave up this house or I gave up this land or I gave up this opportunity or I gave up this relationship that wasn't willing to follow the Lord. When that kind of thing is inside of our hearts, we're not prepared for the second coming of Christ. But the, the Apostle Paul says to us that we should be seeking the prize like a runner looks at the tape that crosses the finish line and that we keep pressing forward, believing that there is a crown of life to those who are faithful to God. I want to look forward and ask myself the question every day, am I looking back? Am I living in a sense of failure, brokenness, fear? Am I feeling uh, rejection of any kind? I have to ask myself the question, am I regretting some of the things that I laid down in order to follow Jesus Christ? The Lord would say to us, get your eyes off that stuff. Look forward. There is a joy that is set before us, like Jesus had the joy of even though facing the cross, he had a great inheritance, and now he's seated at the right hand of God the Father. Don't look back today. Keep looking at Jesus and keep looking forward.